So now in this video, we're going to look at the PNP bipolar junction transistor switch. I'm doing more of just a basic circuit than I did with the NPN bipolar junction transistor where we use the output of a 555 timer. But uh, really, as far as the transistor's concerned, we're giving it either a high signal or a low signal anyways. And uh, so that's what the pull-up resistor is for, to keep the base from floating, getting stray signals from the air or on uh, my body when I touch uh, part of the circuit. And uh, so it's not uh, perfect, but it does a whole lot better helping to keep it off until we close the switch. So since this is a PNP bipolar junction transistor, the emitter is more positive there, and then the collector and the base is usually somewhere in between. So we're gonna hold five volts there, five volts there, no current will flow as long as the switch is open. It's connected to the same part of the power supply. No current will flow. It has to make its way to ground somehow. So, in any case, there will also be no emitter to collector current because you need at least a little bit from emitter to base for emitter to collector and then through the load. Once we close the switch though, then we will have that little current path. Any current getting through this resistor will get sucked right to ground. So as far as the transistor is concerned, when the switch is closed, that resistor, the pull-up resistor, holds up the voltage until we close the switch. Then the voltage will drop to uh, zero. At this point, it'll be to ground, and uh, any current there goes that way, any current goes that way. These are high value resistors, because we just need a small amount of current here. Since we're using a 2N3906, maybe for every milliamp of current that goes that way, it's gonna let like 200 milliamps go that way. But we have a 220 ohm resistor and LED limiting current below 20 milliamps. The main thing is we're saturating it. We're putting enough base to emitter, or emitter to base current, I should say, through the transistor to allow much more current to flow through than what the load needs. And uh, really the load will set the current. It'll be whatever the load wants, with just a little bit of losses as far as the transistor is concerned. But in any case, one nice thing about this, it's on the high side of the load. Usually you see switch, resistor, LED, if you have an LED circuit. So we have that there. If we were using the NPN bipolar junction transistor, like the last video, the transistor was on the more negative side of the load, which is awkward sometimes. So that's one plus to this. And uh, also, you have a weak uh, signal. You just need a little bit of current to control a lot of current. That's another plus. Uh, an odd thing is though, that uh, we're turning it on with a, uh, not a negative voltage, but with ground, with a low voltage. And uh, so that's a little odd, but uh, not end of the world either. So in any case, let's get to the circuit on the board. So now here we have the uh, circuit right there. You can see our pull up resistor, 10 kilo ohm, coming to that other 10 kilo ohm. The switch automatically jumps the gap right there. That's a connection that's coming to the base, the middle pin of the PNP bipolar junction transistor. So emitter, the flat sides here, emitter on top, base in the middle, collector at the bottom and the emitter at the top there is connected to the positive supply and we have that's a 10 kilo ohm resistor up there is a 10 kilo ohm resistor just in case you couldn't see that for some reason and uh, down here is a 220 ohm resistor to protect the LED from uh, 5 volts across it when the transistor is on right now the transistor is off if I press this button we'll have a direct connection to ground there and the LED is on right there. Pretty straightforward. So now we will zoom back and one thing we can do is uh, with the oscilloscope, there you can see we have five volts and I limited current to 20 milliamps, which is always a good idea. I did that to protect the LED. But uh, when I was building this circuit, instead of the resistor here, I put a jumper. And so when I press the uh, button, I had a direct connection from the positive supply. There is a diode drop through the uh, transistor, but it went directly to ground other than that diode drop, and it wanted a whole lot more than 20 milliamps of current, but the power supply cut it off. So if you got a power supply that can limit current, uh, make sure you always set it to the maximum current you would want for any given circuit. So now we'll zoom back, and the end of that cable is the alligator clips right there. We'll look at the voltage in relationship to ground. So that blue rail is directly connected to that blue rail via those jumpers up there. And uh, we can either go right there, and you can see uh, five volts also 
I looks like I've kind of falsely triggered the LED. But before we do that, I'll show you that uh, if I touch this now, the LED glows. That's because I'm giving it a false signal. And so let's put the uh, resistor back, our pull up resistor, and now you can see that uh, that's actually measuring my hand there. But uh, you can see that the LED is not lighting at all. So, in any case, let's get back to measuring there. And if I touch it, we got no voltage change. If I leave it floating, there you can see even the meter is falsely triggering it. So that's why it's a good idea to use a pull-up resistor. Although, you'll get away without it. You can see if I don't have that, I can press the button. So, let's stop wasting time and uh, get to it. So there you can see we got 5 volts right there. So it may not be exactly 5 volts, the supply voltage, but uh, pretty close. Maybe just a tad bit shy. Looks like it's really spot on. And uh, now, when I hit the uh, button, the LED comes on. There you can see that uh, the input to the transistor is 0 volts right there. So, really, that's about the end of uh, this demonstration. Uh, not terribly complicated. I already did a more detailed video on how the transistor works. And we just actually simplified it from there. So, hopefully you understand all that. Make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. But just watching these videos helps out a ton. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.